let's have a look at some of the more general issues when using the whiteboard. Perhaps the most important thing to start with is that we should start with a clean board. Secondly, it's always very useful to make a board plan so that you know where things are going to appear on the board by the end of your lesson. Very simple to do a board plan, just take a, a sheet of paper which is similar in shape to the board that you're going to use and then onto that piece of paper decide where all the information that's going onto your board is going to be by the time that you've finished. So a very simple board plan just to show where the information is going to be. Also, it's very useful if you make use of tables and columns to separate different areas of your work. And in the same way, you can use colour for the same effect. So by starting with a clean board, decide on which areas of that board are going to be used for your various types of information. And then within that, the use of different colours for different types of information. It is important that you only put the essential information needed by the students on the board. They will have a tendency to copy everything down that you put on there. So make sure that you only use the board for essential information. When you're writing on the board, it's very important that you use print and that you separate all of the letters. And as soon as any information is no longer required on the whiteboard, then clear it away.